No intro necessary. Let's just get straight into it. So first thing you want to do, open up your web browser, head to restream.io. You're going to want to make an account here and sign in. After you've done that, click add channel, add all the platforms that you want to be streaming to. I'd recommend YouTube, Twitch, Mixer, and maybe Facebook if you are popular on Facebook. Once you've added all your channels, you should be able to select which ones you want to stream to from this menu. Now to link this to OBS. So let's open up OBS. Note that your version of OBS will look different because this is highly customized. You want to open your settings menu over here. You want to go down to stream. You want to select service. Under service, you want to hit restream.io, RMTP. It'll come up like this, asking for a stream key. Instead of doing that, what you want to do is click connect account. Once you once this opens, you'll just want to sign in with the account you just created. Go ahead and click allow. Okay, cool. So once you've done that, you'll see all of these menus just pop up here. I recommend you put them all on one side, like this. I put them over the top of each other. And that gives you this kind of tab view that you can switch between, like this. But here you go, this is where you can select the game you're going to stream, your stream title, where you want to stream to, and here's where you can see the chat. And with the press of a button, send a message to all of your streaming services at once. It's pretty cool. After you've selected your platforms, all you do is click start streaming and you'll be live to the world. Just some quick tips for getting started. If your game is not listed over here, what you can do is head back to the Restream website, click on Titles, click on Edit for your platform, type in the game over here. And this will have a much larger list of games to choose from. While Restream adds nothing to your broadcast, it also takes nothing away. The bitrate will be the same, the FPS will be the same, and the resolution will remain the same. One thing you will notice is that you see some branding in the description of some of your streams. This does not always happen, but if you wish to remove it, you must purchase the professional plan for $41 a month. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.